Recent A-list films, such as Spider-Man No Way Home and The Batman, have greatly assisted movie theaters in their long recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. The total domestic box office revenue in 2019 during the so-called pre-pandemic era was $11.3 billion, but when the pandemic hit in 2020 and movie theaters were mostly shuttered, revenues only reached $2 billion, the lowest amount since 1983. But last year, when movie theaters started to gradually reopen their doors to consumers, the numbers creeped back up slightly to $4.5 billion. And Katie Bjorkman, head manager of the local Pullman Village Center Cinemas, made a pretty bold prediction for this year. 2022 is going to be better than 2021 just because um, majority of 2021 we didn't have full capacity of our theaters. And Oliver, the supervisor at the movie theater, seems to agree with Katie's sentiment. Coming out of the pandemic it was pretty slow but with these big big blockbuster movies it's starting to pick up so. And Katie suggested some optimism when forecasting the rest of the year ahead including no more simultaneous day and date releases and no more limited capacities of seating. The last one that I can remember that had a streaming simultaneously was Marry Me, and that did not do well in the theaters. So I'm actually very excited that that's ended and everything has to go to the theaters first. Upcoming movie releases that should help the local theater recover even further include Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, and mm -hmm. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Reporting in Pullman, I'm Gillis Williams, Murrow News 8.